Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising, welcome. Rose Warrior here, going to be dishing out a tarot reading as well as Oracle for you today. I hope something here resonates, and if not, just move forward here, no worries. This is going to be a very specific channeled message for Libra, for someone who considers themselves an empress. So I'm going to write this down here. If you're new to my page, welcome. Make sure to take what scores, leave the rest here. Make sure to keep it respectful and positive as I block and delete all negative energies because I keep this space fiercely safe. I love this space to stay safe here for those that are new and returning. So Libra, you are the empress is what I got here in the download. You're already the empress. You have to do nothing else but embody this energy. So we're going to tap into how you can embody this. Yep, receiving. So you need to stay in a receptive mode here. At the bottom of the deck, you could be a Libra who is a Leo rising, a Leo moon. You could have a Leo Mercury or a Leo North Node is what I'm getting here. Yep, divine love. You are an earth angel. You're being provided with a lot of love at this time. Like I said, you are the Empress Libra. That's the download that I got here. And I heard it loud and proud, loud and clear. You're stepping into your Empress energy. We're going to tap into your current vibration as well as what spirit has for you okay it's definitely for a libra out there that knows they're the emperor or the empress you could be a divine masculine as well as a divine feminine here okay yep we have liberation you're freeing yourself you're freeing yourself from addiction you're freeing yourself from abuse you're freeing yourself from relationships and friendships that don't serve you you're coming into this adulthood, right, in your spirituality where you're going to, for the next six months, start seeing a lot come to light for you in the most positive way is what I'm getting. It says the doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. That's what this card says. You're truly breaking free is what I'm getting. This is beautiful, Libra. We're starting your energy off very beautifully here. Spirit ancestors of the highest white light. What do we have for Libra? So companionship, Libra, this is literally your energy here. You deal with companionship. You deal with interpersonal connections using the heart chakra here to be able to connect to people and to be able to build a foundation, to build a company is what I'm getting, and to build a fruit that you get to bear here that lasts forever. I'm getting an apple that has a million worth, a million bites worth in it is what I'm getting here with companionship. It says giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. You are the gift. I'm going to write that down. You are the gift, Libra. This is a very positive message for you. This is affirming the energy that you know you're meant to embody. For those of you Libras who have been doing a lot of spiritual inner work that I've been healing, you've been taking the right steps. And this is why you're coming into a very high position here. Also, Libra, I'm being called to tell you if you have Aries placements or you've got an Aries in a placement in your big three, make sure to watch this Aries reading that I'm about to drop. This is giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. And something about two elephants here. You could have a tattoo of an elephant. You could have elephants in your room. Or these could be insinuating or symbolic here of your spirit animal here. Elephants represent memory. Elephants represent longevity. They represent reviewing the details and never forgetting. Spirit never wants you to forget that you have companions coming in. This year, within the next six months, you're going to have your soul tribe come in or you're going to have a new relationship within the next six months. For some of you, within the next six weeks, for those that are already on that energy. But that's just for some of you, okay? Remember to take what's yours and leave the rest as a collective message. If you want a personal reading, you can hit me up in my email below and I would love to give you a personal private reading. I do those daily for those that are my followers here. So we have detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's when it's often fulfilled. So you're in this detachment phase. Libra, people forget that you're an air sign here, so you do have the ability to detach. You do have the ability to, to disconnect yourself in the physical, to connect to yourself in the spiritual even deeper is what I'm getting here. You have a detachment quality to you similar to Aquarius is what I'm getting here. Even though you are coming into companionship, it doesn't come without you focusing on yourself first. You are the enlightened one. Beautiful energy, Aries. Whoa, I said Aries. So definitely go check that Aries reading out. But beautiful energy, Libra. Aries had a beautiful energy too. Sim similar to you, Aries, their, their reading was about them being the emperor. Your reading is about you being the empress. Maybe you are dating an Aries or 
coming into alignment with like some sort of Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I don't know. That's very special though. I'm feeling that spirit is smiling. <laughs> spirit is giving me the energy of smiling. Maybe you're smiling or coming into this energy of smiling after a very hard season of healing here. And I say hard because things can get difficult in healing. People think healing is, is safe, fun, and all rainbows and sunshine. But no, healing is work. It's real work. And this is why half the world doesn't ever heal because they don't want to do that work here. This is why you're the empress. This is why you're the gift. Alrighty, Libra. So what I'm getting, Libra, is you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you're in this energy here. With the Tower card, this is number 13. It breaks down to four. You're building a new foundation by allowing spirit to remove any friendship. And this is a, a very specific reading, but this is a message specifically that has been coming around a lot for my lives, for my divine feminines here, as well as divine masculines. Spirit is making sure any foundation that was built off of illusion, that was built off of deceit, that was built off of betrayal, spirit is making sure that this is going to be dismantled. So you may feel like certain things are coming to an abrupt ending, but really you're coming into enlightenment of your true passion, your true, your true potential as the empress. So allow this tower to show you who really is there for you. This is going to be a good thing is what I'm getting. The tower card insinuates removing foundations that never really were meant to last a long time. But th this also speaks of a rebirth of the spirit. The tower card comes when sometimes we feel... We want to hold on to certain energies because out of love, right? We want to hold on to certain people out of respect. But sometimes these people don't have love or respect for us back, right? This is the energy that I'm getting here. So spirit is like, you know what? Allow me to remove that, them in that case. And this is going to be good for you because with the six of wands, see, Aries got the same energy here. So definitely check that reading out. You are in success. Six of wands speaks of success, recognition, for your true position that you have here and being protected to obtain and maintain this position forever see how this horse is covered in a green outfit i mean i'm sorry well i'm seeing green here something about your heart chakra but it's a yellow outfit here something about yellow speaks of abundance it also speaks of the solar plexus which is your soul which is your ego which is your personality, which is your ability to say no and your ability to say yes to the right things. You are someone who's coming into your abundance and inheritance with your ancestors as well. This is giving me ancestor energy. Six of Wands speaks of complete success and complete abundance through protection. You may not believe at this time that you are worthy with this Five of Cups, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may be deeply in your feelings, deeply in contemplation. But Spirit wants you to know anything that has ended or tipped over here, it's because you're being provided with two spaces, two people, two places, two hearts that are going to help you walk this bridge and get to the mountaintop, get to, back, get to home. I heard coming back home to self. And something about your mind here is giving off a vibration in your heart. It's giving off a vibration here in the streets. I'm hearing in your town, wherever you're walking, people are feeling you. They can feel your energy and that you are in a healing state here. I'm proud of you. You're really doing the work. Let's clarify, spirit. Wow. This is your energy. Libra, you are definitely coming into alignment. This is the Queen of Swords. You are coming into alignment with your soul's purpose and the mission that you came here and incarnated to accomplish and see through. This involves you being authentic. This is not easy for people who are authentic in a world that is all about inauthenticity and changing yourself all the time to conform to society's normal standards here. When really, you said, no, no, no. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Libra, you're like a very clean and beautiful person, but I'm picking up on somebody that's very cutthroat with their throat chakra. You really know how to put people in their place. The Queen of Swords, she's someone who is very detached, but also at the same time, very much so inclined and in connection with spirit, her heart and her feelings at the same time. You just lock them away until it's the right people you feel you can trust because of the things that you've been through here with this tower. 
So Libra, this is beautiful energy because you're coming into your truth and your power. This is you standing in your throne, sitting in your throne. So to clarify the six of wands here, success, recognition. <laughs> and I told you I was getting ancestor energy, right? This is my ancestor card here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Ten of Pentacles. You are definitely being blessed by your ancestors to have full abundance in all forms. That's what I heard. The Ten of Pentacles speaks of finances increasing, your position at work or your company or your own entrepreneurship here increasing, having the downloads from the ancestors and assistance of you on this mission. Look at how many Pentacles are here. Look how beautiful this card is. This is also insinuating family. For those that are the, in the Empress energy or you're going to be working your butt off to reach this timeline here, for those that are like, this is my message. I'm going to be in this energy. You can pick your timeline here because I am reading past, present, future at the same time here. I'm reading for over 100 people at the same time. Never forget that here as it is a general message. But with this Ten of Pentacles, whoever knows this message is for you. It's a very specific message for a very specific Libra who's had a very specific healing journey here. Your ancestors are blessing you with the Ten of Pentacles. It's beautiful. You're protected to have the success. These are the most two abundant cards you can see in your reading. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Protection, recognition, and the ancestors blessing you with abundance, but also this being provided through your own hard work. Physically hard work, too. To clarify this Five of Cups energy here, you definitely are coming into some sort of transformation. This is Cancer and Pisces energy here. Sun, moon, or rising could be your energy because it's also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So that we have definitely two water energies coming through here. I'm definitely picking up on heavy Cancer. And this speaks of the subconscious mind, the things that you can't see. So the ancestors have been protecting you because certain things you can't see here are why you may have felt you lost, but you never lost. These cups still stand, but these were the cups that really were there for you. I'm getting two energies that really had your best intentions, your best outcomes. They wanted that for you. Something's going to be coming to light where you realize your power, where you realize your truths were always driven by your precise intuition. I said something similar for Aries too. So yeah, that's definitely a, you definitely have some, some sort of fire energies around you, but you're dealing with it through this alchemy here. So I'm getting temperance, Sagittarius energy here. With this water and fire energy, you're alchemizing in order to create this abundance. The moon is also insinuating that there's going to be an Aries eclipse or an Aries new moon here. And it's going to be very important for you to channel exactly what you want in your career, exactly what you want from your heart, and how you want to project that forward to those you love. You are a leader. A Libra is a cardinal sign. It's Aries, Libra, Capricorn. And Cancer, the other cardinal signs here. So you got cardinal sign energy coming out because you are a leader. I'm going to pull from a new deck here, but I'm going to keep these cards out. So we keep the energy on the table. I'm just going to shuffle these up a bit here. And I like to shuffle on screen. So that way you can see what's coming out is yours here. You are pulling these cards. Your energy, whoever I'm speaking to. And if you're cross-watching, it better be positive here. So we got a nine of swords energy. Maybe you have been having bad dreams or you've been very anxious. This is my anxiety card here. Nine of swords is Libra energy as well as Gemini energy. You could have sleepless nights here. This is because people have been trying to psychically attack you or send you bad energy. And it, keep, it kept you up at some point this week or last week or whenever you're seeing this. But I'm getting the energy that spirit's gonna turn this around because the swords aren't pointed towards you. They're pointed away from you here. Yep. We got six of wands coming out twice. Look at this energy. So you could be seeing 66, which is an angel number insinuating of balance. Your finances coming into alignment because of your healing. And six, six breaks down to 12, but it carries the energy of three. So this all has to do with your mind. I just heard Holy Trinity or Trinity. Your name could be Trinity. Yeah, 1444. Four, four. So you are protected. You are the one. Look at this. You are the Empress. You are the Emperor. You are in high vibration at this time. 
I just literally had a spiritual burp. That means that was truth. Two six of wands energies, some of the most highly vibrational protection cards here showing up twice. Like I said, I felt like this wasn't even going to be direct. It's like anything sent your way is going sent right back. Your ancestors are like, absolutely not. This is the empress you're trying to mess with here. She's protected. They're protected. They're he, she, they are protected here. Your ancestors are showing up here. This is giving me the energy of your ancestors making sure you are protected. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm honored to read for you, Empress. Super honored to read for you. Anything else, Spirit, before we end this reading here? Anything else, Spirit? Alrighty, looks like Spirit has nothing else for you as far as tarot goes. I'm going to go ahead and break out into my own personal oracle deck. If you feel this resonates and you would like to donate to my channel, it is an energy exchange. That would be amazing. And I'll go, to, I'll go ahead and buy some new oracle decks. I'm actually going tomorrow to buy some new oracle decks. So if you see this reading tonight or tomorrow, know that your donations are going right back to you for this page here. Yeah, right at the bottom of the deck, karmic clearing. It says alignment, step forward. Wow, splitting the deck, you're talented, share your gifts. You're the empress, so you're obviously a creatrix, someone who is creation itself. So you are talented. You're a multifaceted person. You're, I'm picking up on an artist, someone who plays the guitar, the violin, the piano, someone who's a singer, someone who's a dancer. I'm also picking up on a model or someone who models their clothing a lot. Because you're the empress, you are naturally extremely beautiful. This is Venusian energy, Venus. I also heard Venus fly trap. <laughs> you trap people with your beauty. You're like enchanting. Ooh, you're enchanting. So Libra, remember I said we saw 66 right here? 66, right? That showed up again. 60. Six, love struck. You got people love struck, Libra. <laughs> That's beautiful. So we got some angel numbers. You could be seeing 33, 144, 14. You could be seeing the numbers five, seven a lot. Fives insinuate movement, change, being provided with financial flow, being provided with the energy and vitality to heal these, these emotional wounds is what I'm getting. And then you could be seeing the number 10. Like we saw in the, with the Ten of Pentacles, and I circled it intuitively too because these were powerful numbers. So you've seen the number 10 a lot. And it says powerful leaders. Powerful leaders. You're a powerful, powerful, powerful leader, Libra. Wow. You definitely have people love struck over you at this time. Or maybe you're in this love struck energy where you just feel you really want to share your love with someone. Or someone you're already with knows that you, you just shake shit up for them in a beautiful way. Something about a father wound. This is a very channeled specific message to someone. So don't take this if it's not yours. Take it if it is yours. Some of this stuff will be for all of you. Some of this stuff will be for some of you. Vice versa here. Choose your timeline. Choose your energy. And flip flop the roles as they accord to or they are in accordance to your situation. Is what spirit is saying. But you're healing a father wound. But I'm also getting a masculine this could have been a brother or an uncle as well. It says, nurture yourself, build self-love. You're already in this element here of nurturing yourself. Why? Because you're in shadow integration. This is a very deep and highly advanced way of blessing yourself through a technique called shadow integration. This is when you, instead of push away the things you don't like that make you feel you know, the opposite of beautiful, that make you feel quote unquote ugly or low or low vibrational, Instead of pushing it away, you're inviting it in because it is a part of you that was malnourished and you're now giving love. It says unconscious to awareness and it says waking up the true work. You're doing the true work and it says accept who you are because certain parts of yourself need to be accepted in, or in order to be integrated. That is your message today, Libra. I love you so much. Have a great night, and I'm going to pray for you, or a great morning whenever you're watching this. 
I literally did seven readings back to back to back and went live on YouTube. So make sure to catch the Aries reading. Make sure to catch the Divine Feminine live I just did. It's pre-recorded, so it's definitely going to have your messages in there. I also shout out a lot of empresses and high priestesses that I picked up on. So that's definitely your message. You have more than just this here. I also did a collective message channel from your ancestors as well as spirit. So you have a lot of information on my page. I love you so much and I'm going to pray for you. Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, please safely guide, guard, and protect Libra as they are in this embarkment of embodying the Empress energy. They are the gift and you are the gift. Ashe and so we may end this reading. In love and light. Peace.